that as a party, as a law-abiding party in the state, that we will not be part of the purported local government election that they have slated on the 5th of October. That was the resolution of the party. All the stakeholders, major stakeholders we met, and we resolved that we will not be part of that election. Reasons being that a few months ago there was a suit instituted by the APC. We were not part of that suit. But as a law abiding party, we had the hint that an order was issued by the court restraining the parties that status quo remains the same. That research should not go ahead with the election. As a party, we have met and we have agreed. What election are we going for? When voters' register is not being released to the RISEC, security agencies are not going to be part of the election. And based on that, the party said we are not going to be part of that ele purported election because we believe in rule of law. I didn't say that I will not as an individual. I say we resolved in that meeting, in the stakeholders' meeting. In that resolution, they LGA party chairmen were part of the meeting. The LGA secretaries were part of the meeting. Women leaders were part of the meeting. The major stakeholders of our party in River State were part of the meeting. National Assembly members were part of the meeting. House of Assembly were part of the meeting. So it was a collective decision that we agreed this morning that we are not going to be part of the election. Talking about what chairman, when their leaders are there, each ward in this state has a leader, and they were fully represented in the meeting. That's Mr. Aaron Chukwemeka, the state party chair of the People's Democratic Party in River State. We're going to be talking now about the local government elections, or at least planned local government elections in River State. They're supposed to hold on October the 5th. Will they hold? There's so many ups and downs with the PDP and, of course, with the APC, with rumors of many of the members of the PDP moving to the APP, and then, of course, we're hearing right now with the PDP saying we're not going to be part of this because of this suit. Well, the River State um, INEC office basically say nothing is stopping this election from holding on October the 5th. And they're citing the Supreme Court judgment. Say, look, that Supreme Court judgment supersedes whatever it is that everyone else is saying, stopping us from doing this election. So let's get all of the details. We're moving now uh, to join uh, our guest here via Zoom, the Publicity Secretary of Rivers PDP, Dr. Kenneth Yowika. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me this morning. Let's talk about these elections. Should they hold or shouldn't they hold? I, we, we've seen the stand of your party already. My question is, should those elections hold? Well, if they claim to be law-abiding citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, law-abiding citizens of any state, then the elections should not hold. Why not? Well, you just heard very clearly from the state party chairman, my party chairman, Honorable Chukemeka Iron, DSSRS, that because there was a, a court order by the All Progressive Congress that had not gotten a final ruling, and since this has not been done, as a law-abiding party, we would want to wait until when such is being done, until the court gives a final ruling to that decision. And if this has not been done, then the People's Democratic Party, a law-abiding party that it is, will not go into such an election because at the end, it will be in futility. So just like you had the leaders of the party, you saw the leaders that flanked the party chairman in that stakeholders meeting. They took that decision and said, listen, if we do not have a final court ruling concerning this issue, then we should not partake in an election that at the end will come to futility. And that is the stance of the People's Democratic Party in River State. We will not be part of the elections of 5th October 2024. When you say come to futility, what do you mean? Yes, because at the end, the law will take its course. Anything that is not done in a justifiable manner, at the end, the decision of the court will come into sway. 
and what is supposed to be done rightly will be done. So we feel that at the end, if they do not do what is right, then it will not end well for those that have contested such an election. Some people believe that this is all about the power structure in River State and the impasse between the former governor, Minister Wike, and Mr. Fubar. And basically, many people believe that the reason why all of this is happening right now is because these local government elections will determine the power structure in River State. And if Fubar, you know, stays as governor and, you know, mans over this election at the local levels, that power structure may officially move from Wike to Fubar. And because of that, they say a lot of you are stalling uh, and using that APC court case as an excuse. I, I do not know where you'll be coming from on such. Uh, when you say the structure will be moving away, remember that the governor that stands as the executive governor of River State, Sassilai Joseph Fubara, is still a member of the People's Democratic Party. When we had our congresses, if you had listened, I believe your station was, was there to cover that program. You would have heard after the congresses when the chairman gave his vote of thanks. He said clearly, that he will work to see that peace returns to the party and that the governor remains our governor because we all voted for him to make sure he becomes governor of River State. So talking about the structure being taken from um, the minister of the FCT, our leader, Chief Vice President Ian Wike, that is neither here nor there. He remains the leader of the party in the state and that cannot be contested. Chief Vice President Ian Wike remains the leader of the party in the state. But what I want to say, there are people that are here and they are trying to be very, very, very greedy and are jumping to other parties and trying to think that by doing so, they would uh, sway the governor to move with them. But he remains our governor. The PDP voted for him. He was our candidate. He was made governor. And we'll stand by what we have done. But we're saying as it concerns that election of 5th October, we are not going to be partakers of that election. And um, please, very quickly, I want to just uh, clarify something that was done on your studio yesterday. Uh, there was a guest when this uh, program was aired that came on and um, he was announced as the vice chairman of the Rivers West Senatorial District. I want to make it clear here on record that the present uh, vice chairman of the Rivers West Senatorial District is no other person than Honorable Shedrach Chuku, and not the guest that was in your studio yesterday. Congresses were held in River State on the 31st, on the 31st of, uh, of last month, 31st of August 2024, and your studio, your station rather, also covered those congresses. I, was, it, you, you do, I, I was waiting for you to land. It was corrected on air. Did you not see the correction on politics today? Oh, well, that would be nice if it was corrected. It was corrected. But I still need to, yes, I All need right, to so clarify that. so let's move on now to something. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about something you brought up, because that was where I was going next. Before we, yeah. before we look at Justice Enebeli and, and what he had to say, let's talk yeah. about the people from the PDP who are moving now to the APP. There are permutations out there that the reason why the APP secretariat has been bombed twice is because many people believe that the governor is going to defect to the APP. But then, of course, there's the issue where, you know, for many of these members of your party, they feel like, look, if, if the party is not going to let us take part in the election, well, that's the party's business. We're going to move. Uh, many people consider these moves to be anti-party activities. Where do you stand as a party on that? Well, first of all, I want to talk about the bombing incident of the APP Secretariat. Well, uh, the People's Democratic Party will not want to jump into conclusion because the security agencies have not given a full report on what took place. So it will be it will be us jumping the gun to talk about what happened in the Secretariat. But we will say clearly, as the spokesman of the party, I'll say clearly that um, we, we, we do not have any idea about anything that has to do with any bombing or any such thing. The People's Democratic Party is a, a very decent and a just party, and we stand by the pathway of truth. But one thing you should know is that people will always move around because they have these very um, greedy intentions, I'll call them, because when they see that they are not like in a party and they do not want to follow what we call the structure, the internal structure of the party, they want to jump to places where they think they can get things quickly done. And um, I, I can assure you, like we all know, prior to this time, I do not think anybody in the Federal Republic of Nigeria has heard about the APP as a party. 
what has been here, it's uh, the PDP, the APC, and all other parties, but the, 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 the APP has, has, has not been one that people have heard of. So when you talk about um, people moving there, if you look at even their flood of that they had yesterday in the South East Central District, it was very scanty, because you're talking about seven LGAs that should be there. It was scanty, and that is showing that the people are still living confused. Even their members, I remember one of their members speaking, he got confused about the logo of the party. He said it was an antelope, when the logo of the party is, is actually an elephant. So you can see that they have not even been able to come through with what the logo of their party is. So it's, 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 it's something that we are not worried about. We know we are a solid party. We have the, we have the strength. We have the, we have the number. And we know that when it's time for any election and we come out, we are surely going to defeat any party that comes by our side. Well, Dr. Yewika, uh, let's move on now to something that may be a little problematic for the People's Democratic Party. And it's a statement from the chairman of the Rivers Independent Electoral Commission, RCEC, retired Justice uh, Adolfo Senebeli. And he's saying that there is no legal impediment. There's nothing stopping these elections. In fact, he goes on to say that the 18, that 18 parties are contesting in, these, in, in the October 50 elections. Uh, over 300 contestants, he said. And he said the list of those candidates were going to be published yesterday. I don't know if you've seen that list. I haven't seen it. But what do you make of what he's saying? You know, because well, aren't you scared that you may, you may lose out as a result of this? No, we have never been scared. The People's Democratic Party, it's a, it's a solid party. We've never been scared when we know that um, these people are going to be, to be ditched very soon. I, I, I want to say very clearly that um, if you remember, there is a, a court case on the Federal High Court where just, uh, judgment has been re reserved. Um, Justice Peter Lifu had reserved ju uh, judgment. And if you remember, Taiwo uh, Taiwo tai appeared for the Attorney General of River State in that suit. And um, Sammy Falana also appeared for RISEC in that suit. If the chairman of RISEC in River State is saying that he has not seen anything or he's not bothered about anything and elections are going on, then the simple question to ask will be, why did they make representation in the cases in the Federal High, high Court? That means they know that there is something that needs to be clear before they go for, for the election. But what I want to say is that these cases are in court. And as a decent party, we will not want to interfere or even make comments about cases that are in court. So for this issue concerning any case in court, I want to hold, withhold my statement because that is what it is said to be and that's what it's supposed to be. I will hold back my statement because these cases are still pending in court. Which I just is enabled. He actually says that... Uh... The recent judgment of the Supreme Court, because that's where he's citing, that that recent judgment of the Supreme Court uh, uh, has empowered INEC to conduct these elections. So basically that that Supreme Court judgment supersedes whatever it is that you all are talking about. You don't, you don't think that's something to think about? I do not think so. I do not think so at all. I do not think so at all. And I've said it very clearly, that we wait clearly for the judgment of the Federal High Court, which is going to be passed by no other person than Justice uh, Peter Lifu. That is what we stand on. We stand on this, and we will not partake in the 5th October election because, like I said, we're a law-abiding party, and we will remain so. So talk to me about what that means. If the elections actually hold on 5th October, what does that say to the power structure in, 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 in River State? How, how does that yep. affect how governance goes going forward? I do not know how governance have been going. The entire problem in the state has been about the battle for the power structure. In the state, everybody has been talking about the soul of the party, all oh, power structure. But it's clear that we had our, con uh, our congresses, we had our leader, Chief Advisor Ian Wiki, attend the congresses. If not for the little the difficulty we have had, I would have showed you the program of activity of the Congress. You would have seen that on the pages of that program, we had the, 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 the photograph of the national chairman and the photograph of the governor. And a, a, a seat was also, also reserved for the governor because I said he remains a member of our party. But unfortunately, he, he wasn't there to attend that con Congress. The Congress was supervised by INEC. It was supervised by, by the entire team that is supposed to supervise this election. And um, at the end of it, those that came out victorious came out victorious. And it has been ratified by the National Working Committee. And that is why I'm speaking to you today. 
as the public secretary of the People's Democratic Party in River State. So talking about whether it will affect us as a party or not, I assure you that it will not affect. If you look at the pictures that are being beamed by your, by your station, you will see the mammoth crowd. I have had close to 3,000 people that voted for me that day. And this is just the Congress that we just had. So when we come out for an election, I can assure you that it will be a swarm of bees that nobody will be able to control because PDP is a moving party in River State, and it stands to be so. Dr. Yowika, I mean, this impasse between Minister Wike and, and Governor Fubar, and, and with, even, it's not just the PDP, even with the All Progressives Congress, we're seeing different voices. In your case, we're seeing people who are leaving the party to join the APP so they can take part in these elections uh, from, from the APC. We're seeing different, differing voices on, on, on the legitimacy of these exercises and, and whether they should participate in the elections or not. With all of these political wranglings, will there ever be a time, at least in the recent, in the next few months, maybe, or weeks, do you see some yeah. sort of peace? Do you see some yeah. sort of, it doesn't seem, isn't it a little exhausting? Yeah. This war has been on for too long. Doesn't it, wouldn't it be nice to have some kind of consolidation? You keep talking about reconciliation, you know, bringing people back. Will I, there be I, actual peace in this state when it comes to the governance and political structure in Rivers? Where do you see this going? I can assure you, if you had listened after the Congress and even in the Hello? Yes, Dr. Yowika, we can hear yes. you. Yes, if you had listened to the statement of the state party chairman after the Congresses, and even in the, the stakeholders meeting we had um, yesterday, he made it very clear that he would do everything within his powers to make sure that peace returns to the party. As an ESCO, we are giving all our support to our chairman, Honorable Chukwemeka Aaron, DSSRS, to make sure that peace returns to the party. I made it very clear when I started this conversation that the governor of the state remains a member of our party, and we see him to be so. And whatever we need to do as a party to make peace come back to it, we will do. And that is why if you watch statements we have made, we'll be very careful about them because we have to make sure that this party remains one indivisible party that remains strong and viable like it has ever been. Under the leadership of Chief Barrister E.N. Wiki, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. I mean, when it comes to these local government elections, one of the things that we all pushed for as a country was for governance to get down to those local levels, despite what the political wranglings might be. Let's talk about governance at the local levels uh, in River states. You don't think that elections are necessary to be able to uplift people out of poverty at that level, ensure security, see if we can get local levels more involved in the governance process, bring some development there. Are, th are those things that are lacking in River State, or you think everything is fine, we can just go on without the elections? There was no complaint about the issue of local government. Everybody wants the local government areas to be developed. That's what PDP stands for. You need to make sure that the, the, the communities within the local areas are developed. And if there is no leadership at the local level, then how do they get developed? But in as much as we want the local governments to be developed, we will not do that with illegality. When the issues of the CTCs came in, the, 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 the party stood against it because it was unconstitutional. And thanks be to God that in a very short while, the, the, the Supreme Court ruled and said that it was unconstitutional, that there was nothing like caretaker's committee known to law, and that elections should be held. And now, you can see that in as much as election will be held, there is a court case pending in the Federal High Court that some issues need to be cleared before those elections could go on swiftly. Like I said, I would not want to comment so much on the cases in court because I'll be doing an unjust thing to comment on issues that are still pending in court.
But once things are done in the justified manner, the People's Democratic Party will always, always, and always stand by it. It's just a few days to October the 5th. If the elections do hold, what do you want your members to be doing on that day? Where would you be? For sure, I will not be there. I will not be partaking in the election. We've made this very clear. We've even sent all messages around all our members to sit at home because we will not partake in the election. We have said it. That's why the stakeholders meeting was held yesterday to intimate our members that we will not be partaking in the election. So where I'll be, Maybe I'll be playing tennis or I'll be playing golf on that day. That's going to be a very interesting one. Well, we'll be watching to see how all of that unfolds. Uh, just a final message. You are the publicity secretary of the party in River State. Just a message to your, to your people who are sending us all kinds of messages right now on social media as they're listening mm -hmm. to you. Uh, in, uh, as this particular impasse continues, what should they have at the yeah. back of their minds? Well, they should continue to hold high the torch of the People's Democratic Party. It is one party that will always, always deliver them, no matter how milky the waters may be. The People's Democratic Party, led by our leader, Chief Baisai Nwiti, has never, ever disappointed them. And this once, we are making another assurance that the People's Democratic Party in River State, led by Honorable Chukwemeka Iron, will not disappoint them. They should continue to hold high the touch of the People's Democratic Party. All right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Kenneth Yowika, Publicity Secretary of Rivers PDP. Thank you so much for being with us on the program. And good luck with all the things thank that you. you have ahead of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, we have just a few messages uh, before we wrap up. And of course, like we promised yesterday, we had quite a number of messages uh, from you yesterday as well. We have just a few minutes, so I think I can run through some of them. Uh, they may not be able to show them on your screens uh, right now, but, you know, we did give our word, and uh, we like to get, keep our word. Oh, lucky, we have Festus's message on your screens right now. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, Festus uh, Kim Boyewa, he says, This INEC, under the current chairman, conducted the last election in Edo State which PDP won, even when APC was in power at the center. Now, the same INEC, under the same chairman, is now evil because PDP lost the recent election. Our politicians are funnily funny, he says. There you go. Uh, Festus Akimboyewa, thank you very much. I think we have this one from Pastor, Pastor Law Alpha C. Uh, he says, these spates of electoral malpractices have become entrenched into our body polity. This is exactly what transpired in Edo recently. And it is dangerous for our democracy. And ultimately, the courts will be in search of convincing evidence. Uh, then, of course, we have this other one from Professor uh, Imono Kainakena. Uh, he was talking about the war. He said the Ukraine-Russian war has, from 2022, delivered an economic shock. Surging energy and food prices have led to sharply increasing interest rates as globally central banks struggle to contain the galloping inflation. For Africa, this means that the cost of borrowing is rapidly increasing. International markets are already given the flavor of what this will mean. It's quite a lot going on uh, around the world and in Nigeria right now. But all we can tell you is stay put, all right? Try not to lose your mind, protect your mental health, and be as law-abiding as possible. It's going to be okay, all right? So do that. I want to thank everybody for being with us on the program. Thank you for keeping us company here on Sunrise Daily. I'm Kayla Magua. Have a great day ahead, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.